Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you guys have been here before. If you've been here before, you know that this is not something I do very often. It's very rare that you see me sitting in front of the camera and just having a conversation with you guys. But honestly, I was really inspired by this girl named Dora. She had less than 100 followers, less than 100 subscribers at the time of posting a video. She posted this video, How YouTube Changed Her Life. And honestly, it really inspired me. As somebody who currently has almost 500 subscribers, which is incredibly amazing, and I want you guys to know how grateful I am, YouTube has changed my life. I have been doing YouTube on and off probably for about the last year now, and Honestly, there is no words to describe what YouTube really does for people. Um, I work retail in my 9 to 5. I literally talk to people all day long. And that is the most exhausting and daunting task of my life. So for me to come home pretty much every other day and film and just work on YouTube... It's acquainted me with so many skills I thought I would never have. I talked about this a little bit prior where I grew up in a house where nobody's really tech savvy. I now know how to edit. I know how to create thumbnails. Whether they're the best thumbnails I can create or not, I still do make them. I am getting really good at like lighting and time management and learning about technology. I just launched my very own podcast and I have started to learn all those technical skills that I would have never had in my life prior to YouTube. YouTube is a space that I currently do not make money off and would I like to one day? Absolutely. It is my dream to be able to, it's my dream to be able to do YouTube podcasting. I love to I just want to be able to create content as a full time job. And that is something that I am dedicated to. And you know, YouTube's taught me a lot. It teaches me what videos are doing really well, what people like to see and being able to see those numbers is really incredible. You know, you don't... I grew up on YouTube. I am a child of YouTube. I grew up watching Minecraft videos and, you know, Kelly Eden was somebody who was like a kind of big inspiration in my life. Um, her like pink cottagecore house fantasy life just did so many things to my brain as a child and honestly even if there's a chance that I could be a part of that world in terms of making an impact on people in a positive way is just such an amazing opportunity. I have vowed that for me YouTube and all the platforms I create content on are all about creating a safe community where we can all just be the best versions of ourselves. And honestly, just a safe space to communicate and to be ourselves. Let's be honest, I am not a normal person. I don't like the word normal. The only thing that is normal is the setting on the dryer. And that's it. There is no normal. But, you know, I grew up being called like a freak and a loser and it's, I never want anyone to feel that way. You are not alone. And that's something that YouTube has taught me that I can never get up. I can never give up. Because even being somebody who does YouTube, I have made some incredible content creating friends as well in this process of, hey, I make videos, what do you do? Oh, I make TikToks, that is literally awesome. Let's talk about that, 
let's learn more from each other and you know <clears throat> and you know outside of my day job I don't really love to talk to people I talk to people all day long that it honestly kind of kills me it makes me feel like I am not a real person and it makes me feel like the things I'm actually saying with my mouth don't actually matter because I'm just scripting all day long so for me to come on YouTube and just to be my true organic self is the best and listen the reason that we're all on YouTube and the reason we make content is because we genuinely have something to say and you know sometimes my niche is a little all over the place I love fashion I love lifestyle I love to travel you know I'm a little beauty girl I work in the makeup industry it's hard not to be and sometimes I feel like I'm all over the place but also as a person like I know as a person I have a very hard time sitting still I love to be doing a thousand different things all at once and that chaotic energy definitely comes off in my videos and you guys are getting that like I'm just chaos I'm a pink whirlwind of chaos and I love that about myself I would say within the last 10 months I probably went from being someone with maybe 150 subscribers to now I am at like 470 which is honestly so amazing um I like to think about it as like imagine 400 people are in your house right now like that's a lot of people right and like that's so impressive and I am so proud of myself for getting to that kind of level because I'm just so proud of myself like for everything it takes a lot of time YouTube is basically like a second job and sometimes that's exhausting plus I do a podcast on top of it and I don't post on Instagram and TikTok as much as I'd like to but those are all levels of that as well it's a lot of time we definitely take a lot of time and energy into YouTube but I guess this is my way of saying never give up because, you know, in six months I might still be in the same spot, but I might not be. I am someone who is 20 years old and I live alone and my dream is to move out of my small town in Massachusetts and move to somewhere big like New York City and just thrive and be inspired by life because honestly life is really short like um, you know this could all end for me tomorrow and that's okay and I'm just so proud of everything that I've worked towards and everything that I've become the person I was two years ago could never even recognize the person I am today and that's something that makes me so proud and that's something like doing YouTube has made such a big impact on I have learned to become a businesswoman, if you will this is something that I'm gearing towards where I'm like this is what I want this is what I'm going and YouTube has also taught me the importance of pivoting being like okay this isn't working but this is what can I do to help myself and that's where all that data comes in and it's so important to just like look and also I love to look at like my audience and I love to see who's really watching my videos and you know I've gotten to the point now where sometimes my videos have been up for like five minutes and like six people have already seen them and I'm like oh my god that's like so many people like people like care <laughs> I it's very easy in this world to feel so alone but like we're not alone and I've had a lot of people recently tell me that I am a comfort space for them and that makes me feel so good because my entire life has been feeling not comfortable and I have been put in a lot of stressful situations in my life 
So for me, I want to give you guys this space where you are your truest selves and you feel so comfortable being yourself here. YouTube has just taught me the importance of being myself and never letting anyone take that from me. You know, um, this is something I don't talk about too, too much, but I had a boyfriend at one point who literally hated the fact that I made videos on YouTube. He hated it. And for me, it's situations like that, right? It's either one thing or the other. I will always choose YouTube. I will always choose myself. And that is not selfish. It's not selfish because you were putting yourself first. And at the end of the day, people might leave you. People are temporary. You in your relationship with yourself is kind of forever. And YouTube has taught me so many important things. And I'm sorry that I'm so scatterbrained all over the place right now. But I just want you guys to know how grateful I am. Is YouTube hard? Absolutely it's hard. Sometimes I do not want to do this. Prime example, last night I was up until 2 a.m. finishing editing my video to go up. And then I wake up this morning and there's a block on it because there's a part in the clip where there's music in it. So I was like, I'm just gonna edit this out and now I'm scared that the video is gonna be weird. And it's things like that that really stress me out. But I wouldn't give it up for a second. I wouldn't give it up for a second. I know what I want to do with my life. And let's say, for an instance, this goes nowhere. Let's say I've put all this time, energy, money into this and it goes nowhere. That is okay. Because if anything, it's given me a good story. It's given me a good experience. And honestly, this is giving me life lessons that I can literally learn for forever. I would have never known how to use a camera. I don't know anybody who has a camera, especially in like my family or where I grew up. Nobody does stuff like this. And it's like, I'm teaching myself all these things that are so important and their life skills. A lot of people talk about how they learn how to edit and make thumbnails and they sell their skills. I'm not at that level yet. Would I like to be one day? Potentially. I would potentially love to do that. But, you know, I'm not at that point yet. And that's okay. I had never even seen an editing software before I started YouTube. I had never in my life. Um, I actually went to culinary school. Realized it's something I could never do as a profession. But I love it so deeply in my heart. And I came back to my hometown and I started working retail, which I had also never done in my life. And now I'm at the point where this is something I've never done before. And I just want to full on jump in because there's something about YouTube that is unlike anything else. And the skills and the importance that it holds in me, especially as a person, is so incredible and there is nothing that can ever compete with that. <laughs> I know that this is kind of all over the place, but I want you guys to know no matter how small your channel is, don't give up. Keep going. What is the worst that can happen? Really, what's the worst thing that's ever going to happen? You're just going to do all this for nothing? Then that's what it, it is what it is, you know? Then you're making something for yourself to look back on in the future, if anything. But also, like, you got this. And I believe in myself like nobody else. I back myself a thousand percent. I have this. Everything that I want to achieve in this life, I will achieve. Because I want it and I will work towards that goal. <laughs> and honestly, YouTube's given me a lot of drive and a lot of passion. And especially like working in a corporate industry, I that makes me feel like I'm not a real person. Like nothing I genuinely want matters. And 
I don't like that feeling. So when I come home and then I'm a completely different person because I basically have a completely different job at home, it gives me a sense of feeling and it allows me to be the truest form of myself. <laughs> I love you all so much. And I just want YouTube to also know how grateful I am. And I'm so grateful for you guys as an audience because you make what I do worth every second. You know, I do it for myself, but also you guys hold a very important place in my heart. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I am so sorry that this video was everywhere. I will include the girl who like did the video who inspired me. Hers is a lot more organized. But you know me, I am manic, condemned, and all over the place. <sighs> also, I script every day in my normal life. Sometimes I really don't like scripting videos. It just makes me feel fake. <laughs> I get it, it's a time management thing. I'm a bullet point person, I'm like, I want to hit this, this, and this. And then I'm Gucci. But I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Leave a like on this video. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Love you.